Savant Syndrome, Wikipedia Article Audio Savant Syndrome is a condition in which someone with significant mental disabilities demonstrates certain abilities far in excess of average. The skills at which savants excel are generally related to memory. This may include rapid calculation, artistic ability, map making, or musical ability. Usually just one special skill is present. Those with the condition generally have a neurodevelopmental disorder such as autism spectrum disorder or a brain injury. About half of cases are associated with autism and may be known as autistic savants. While the condition usually becomes apparent in childhood, some cases may develop later in life. It is not recognized as a mental disorder within the DSM-5. Signs and Symptoms Calendrical Savants The condition is rare. One estimate is that it affects about one in a million people. Cases of female savants are even less common than those of males. The first medical account of the condition was in 1783. Among those with autism between 1 in 10 to 200 have savant syndrome to some degree. It is estimated that there are fewer than a hundred savants with extraordinary skills currently living. Savant skills are usually found in one or more of five major areas, art, memory, arithmetic, musical abilities, and spatial skills. The most common kind of savants are calendrical savants, human calendars who can calculate the day of the week for any given date with speed and accuracy, or recall personal memories from any given date. Advanced memory is the key superpower in savant abilities. Approximately half of savants are autistic, the other half often have some form of central nervous system injury or disease. It is estimated that 10% of those with autism have some form of savant abilities. A calendrical savant is someone who, despite having an intellectual disability, can name the day of the week of a date, or vice versa in a few seconds or even a tenth of a second, on a limited range of decades or certain millennia. These savants are mostly autistic. The rarity of human calendar calculators is possibly due to the lack of motivation to develop such skills among the general population. Calendrical savants, on the other hand, may not be prone to invest in socially engaging skills. No widely accepted cognitive theory explains savants' combination of talent and deficit. It has been suggested that individuals with autism are biased towards detail-focused processing and that this cognitive style predisposes individuals either with or without autism to savant talents. Another hypothesis is that savants hypersystemize, thereby giving an impression of talent. Hypersystemizing is an extreme state in the empathizing systemizing theory that classifies people based on their skills in empathizing with others versus systemizing facts about the external world. Also, the attention to detail of savants is a consequence of enhanced perception or sensory hypersensitivity in these unique individuals. It has also been confirmed that some savants operate by directly accessing low-level, less processed information that exists in all human brains that is not normally available to conscious awareness. Mechanism Savant syndrome results from damage to the left anterior temporal lobe, an area of the brain key in processing sensory input, recognizing objects, and forming visual memories. Savant syndrome has been artificially replicated using transcranial magnetic stimulation to temporarily disable this area of the brain. There are no objectively definitive statistics about how many people have savant skills. The estimates range from exceedingly rare to 1 in 10 people with autism having savant skills in varying degrees. 
a 2009 British study of 137 parents of autistic children found that 28% believe their children met the criteria for a savant skill, defined as a skill or power at a level that would be unusual even for normal people. As many as 50 cases of sudden or acquired savant syndrome have been reported. Psychological Males with savant syndrome outnumber females by roughly 6,1, slightly higher than the sex ratio disparity for autism spectrum disorders of 4.3,1. The term idiot savant was first used to describe the condition in 1887 by John Langdon Down who is known for his description of Down syndrome the term idiot savant was later described as a misnomer because not all reported cases fit the definition of idiot, originally used for a person with a very severe intellectual disability. The term autistic savant was also used as a description for the disorder. Like idiot savant, the term came to be considered a misnomer because only half of those who were diagnosed with savant syndrome were autistic. Upon realization of the need for accuracy of diagnosis and dignity towards the individual, the term savant syndrome became widely accepted terminology. Neurological Epidemiology History Society and Culture Notable Cases Fictional Cases <laughs>